Hi, welcome back to Grade 7 Math. We are now on uh, Chapter 3.6, which is on mean, median, and mode. And this is a slight review from Grade 6 as well in the earlier grades, but we're just taking a look at it again just as a review because it is an important statistical tool. So here uh, I'm giving you a set of numbers. There's no context within these numbers. It could be uh, the number of cars that are found in a parking lot um, on every different day. So we'll just take that example. And the question is find the mean, the median, and the mode for the following set of numbers. So I have 5, 7, 10, 9, 8, 10, 11, 5, 8, 7, 10, and 10. The first step when using statistical tools is to look at what you're looking for, so the mean, the median, and mode. When we're looking at the mean, uh, the mean is basically you add up all the numbers and then you divide by the number of numbers that exist. So we can write this out using a pretty interesting formula, and that is sigma over n. And sigma represents the sum of all the numbers over n, which is the total number of numbers. So the sum of all the numbers, we just take all these numbers and we add them up. Now, normally when you're looking at statistical tools, it is easier to um, to put them in numerical order just so that you can add them up easier or we can look at the other statistical tools um, a little bit easier. So let's put these in order. So I have a 5 and I have another 5. Let me just cross them out when I use them. Then I have 7, 7. And then I have an 8 and an 8. I have a 9, I have 4 10s in there, and then I have an 11. Great, and I'll just confirm that it's the right number. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 numbers to start. And after reordering them, I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 numbers again. So I know that at least my all my numbers are accounted for. The mean, therefore, is sigma over n. The Greek letter sigma means the sum of all the numbers. So I'll add up all these numbers together. And a fast way to add them up is just by grouping them. So I have 5 plus 5 is 10. And then I have four other 10s, so that's 50. So I have 50 plus now I have two 7s, two 8s, a 9 and 11. Well, I can pair up the 9 and the 11 to make 20. And I can have I have then two 8s and two 7s. And I know that 7 plus 8 is 15 and 7 plus 8 is 15. And so now I can add these up. 15 plus 15 is 30, plus uh, 20 is 50, plus 50 is 100. And my total number of numbers, as I counted, was 12. So it's 100 divided by 12. If I take my calculator, and I do 100 divided by 12, and I get the answer 8.3 repeated. So this is approximately 8.3. Let's see if that makes sense. The mean means the average, or pretty much all the numbers matter, and all the numbers, it's kind of in between all of the numbers. And so I have 5s to 11s, and then it, so it lands pretty much at 8.3. It's on the higher end because I have a lot of 10s, and I have an 11 that kind of boosts it up a little bit. The median, the way that we will look at median, median is also the middle number. And the way that I look at the middle number is I take all the numbers, and I just cancel out the first and the last number till I get to the middle numbers. So for example, the 5 cancels out with the 11. It doesn't really matter what those numbers are. This could have been a 0. This could have been a 300. Um, but because it's just the first and the last, I cancel them out. Now it is really important that the numbers are in numerical order. So now I'm left with two numbers in the middle. I could be left with just one number. If it's one number, then that would be the median. If I have two numbers, what I'd have to do is I find the average or the mean of those two numbers. So the median is equal to 8 plus 9 divided by 2, which is 17 divided by 2, which is 8.5. Or I could have done that in my head. It's the, in between 8 and 9. Mode stands for the most often or most common number. And you can just a little trick M. O is the only one, mode is the only one that starts with M-O, and that also um, can relate to the word most or most often. Now the number that occurs the most often in this set of numbers is 10. If I had uh, an equal number of the most number, then I could have two modes, I could have three modes. Um, if there are no common numbers, uh, then I would say there's no mode. Um, or if I have no mosts. So for example, if I had two of every number, then there would be no mode. Uh, it can, I can only go up to 
there's no set rule, but I tend to say maybe about half of the numbers. If as long as there's less than half of the numbers is most often, uh, then I, I would use that as the mode. The mode is also useful uh, for uh, non numerical data as well. Non-numerical data could be colors, could be um, type of cars, it could be favorite subjects. Um, and so whenever I'm not using numbers, I can use mode for that. Now, a, no a more complicated example involves using a stem and leaf plot. So here we have some numbers here. So it looks at a more complicated example, and these are grade seven test scores in Histoire. So my question is calculate the mean, median, and mode for the following state of, set of data. So what I'm going to do is calculate the mean. So looking at all these numbers, I will take, uh, I'll look at the lowest number. So say 50, 52 is the first number. And I keep adding up all of those numbers. Now what I'll do is I'll just pause the video and I'll just skip ahead so that at least all the numbers are going to be um, done already. Whoops. So I'll just pause the video. You can keep working on your own as well to see what if you get the same answer as um, as me. I'm just putting in the formula sigma over n, which means the total sum of the numbers over the total number of numbers. So I'm just going to pause the video, and then we're just going to continue calculating the rest of this mean on this example. Great. So instantly, shazam, I have all my numbers here. So I added up all my numbers and I over and this is all divided by the total number of numbers and if I count them up there are 15 of these numbers once I add up all these numbers and I did this on this on the side I have one the numerator is 1075 divided by 15 and my answer is 71.6 repeated so this is about 71.7 so this is the mean mark. If I want to find the median, the way that I can calculate the median is by, again, knocking off or removing the first and the last one. So I remove the first, the last, and I keep knocking them off evenly. And I see that the median mark is 78. Mode is the number that appears the most often and I see that the mode mark was also 78. If I wanted to include the class average, what would I be reporting, the mean, the median, or the mode? Well, taking a look at these numbers, I see that one person got 100%. If we want to make sure that that person's um, mark is part of the whole class, either because that person uh, validly got 100%, and I want to include everyone's results, then I use the mean. The mean includes everybody's results, or every point, data point. So it includes everyone's result, or all the data. If we want to make sure we include all the data, then we can use the mean. So I would probably use the mean in this case which is 71.7. If I just wanted to find what the maybe what the middle mark in the class was, then I may want to use the median because it removes extremes. So the median removes extreme values. Great, and if I wanted to use the mode, I could use the mode as well. So mean, median, and mode, three different sets of statistical tools. Mean includes everyone's results. Median finds the middle result for everyone, and the mode finds the most common result for everyone. Uh, use You can use each one of these statistical tools for a different reason. So hopefully you can find out a couple of situations where you might wanna use one or the other. So just a couple of examples that we'll just do in class and hopefully you understood this lesson.